as his history teacher went on a political rant in class. Hunter Biden, for example, was doing deals with China and Ukraine and all these places where he was funneling in money illegally. He also had child pornography on his laptop. He was, he was having sexual intercourse with his own niece. I mean, why? Why does that need to be said in this classroom full of children? The incident happened two weeks ago at Anna Kappa Middle School in Ventura. Silly Kula says she alerted the school immediately because her son came home confused. And he got in the car and he was very upset. And he announced, I'm never getting vaccinated. I'm never getting any more shots of any kind. Did you know Trump's still president? In the seven-minute recording taken on October 18th, the teacher discusses vaccines. If you have a baby in the hospital, I don't want to be vaccinated if you're not vaccinated. This is a complete power control threat. The justice system and the presidential election. I trusted her to teach him the facts about about history. That's her job. She's just a history teacher. And she went off on this rant like she was a preacher in a pulpit. It was a moment this mother said damaged her relationship with her son because he believes his teacher. I says, Dad, teachers know everything. She's right, Dad. You just, you're wrong, Dad. He's damaged. He's hurt. He's scared. He doesn't trust his parents now. He thinks that we lied to him. The school district says they did conduct an investigation into the incident and that they do not condone the discussion that took place. They also tell us they are following the progressive discipline policy as agreed to with the teachers union. The superintendent told Silly Kula that her son's entire class has been moved to another teacher. But this mom says it's not enough. She wants to make sure the lesson learned is that a teacher's opinion should never be taught in a classroom. Whatever anybody's political belief is, I respect that. It's their belief. Don't impose it on my child who I trusted in your care. We have chosen not to name the teacher in this story since she's not been charged with a crime. The last we heard, she...